Hi guys and uh, welcome to a, uh, a quick video just to give you a little bit more um, information about the shanty town and, get, and show you um, some of the ways that you can set the shanty town up. Okay, so first of all, we've got the shanty town in itself. You've already seen that. Um, you probably saw us on Beats of War, uh, and you've seen it in the photos. These are smaller individual buildings that make up your shanty town. You can have little walkways across them, and you've got like containers in the yard and so on and so forth. Perfect. Okay, so you start in this. Um, you've got your built-up city, which is fantastic. You start in there, you work your way across the transition map that we can supply, um, and then you work your way into the shanty town, uh, and you can really can have this kind of war, the city against the shanty town. Okay. Um, the uh, then what we have showed you as well is we've showed you the the larger setups. You don't have to have these small shanty buildings. You can take the shanty pledge, okay, the shanty pledge, and you can you can kind of put the whole thing together and make like um, larger rooms. Okay, so you could have like one big shanty complex. Um, some people have kind of suggested that it almost looks like the interior of, um, um, you know, a submarine or a, um, you know, a, bit, a big uh, sort of aircraft carrier or something like that. Yeah, it's got that kind of hatchways feel to it, very shanty. So it's, you can have those kind of larger setups as well, still leaving yourself external um, areas, okay? What we haven't shown you yet, which I really wanted to show you before the end of the campaign, is that the the two are meant to work together as well. Okay, it's not I either have a city block or I have a shanty town. Okay, you need to be able to work from a city to the shanty town, or you can actually just blend the two together. Okay, so you've got to imagine a bit further in the future, um, the the apocalypse has happened, uh, the buildings are falling down, and they start to get repaired. You don't have all the machines and everything to do it, and so the shantiness comes out of the particular um, uh, particular builds that, that 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 people do to repair buildings, and that's what we've actually got here. Okay, so what I want to do, I just want to show you um, some of the ideas. We've got a um, we've got a wastelands mat here. Okay, um, we haven't got the transition mat yet, but we've got a wastelands mat. And we basically just got this like horde of zombies coming coming towards the uh, um, the defences of this city block. But this city block has been um, has been around for a long, long time. The apocalypse was a long time ago, and so what's happened is it's slowly evolved into kind of a city shanty mix. Okay, so if you look inside here, you can see that what all I've done basically I've started to build up some 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 city block elements, and then I've started to kind of attach on. The shanty parts as well. So I've taken a um, a city block pledge, and I've taken a shanty uh, shanty pledge, and I've got lots of parts of those left over. Okay, this isn't everything in there. Um, and what I've done is, you can see here, I've got um, some shanty parts here with with the little rounds, some sort of kind of smaller bits. Um, and as always happens, um, you know, when you get this like new world that sort of rises from the ashes. You know, the entrepreneurs come along, you're still gonna get, you'll still be able to use your shop signs and things like that to be able to kind of, you know, people need to people need to earn a crust, yeah? So so we've got all those, a couple of those bits in there as well. Um, we've then got all these little elements here, and if I move around a little bit, okay, you've got, straight here, you've got the shanty elements, and of course, just like just like the um, just like normal, I can I can make myself sort of you know get myself into um, these particular buildings. Okay, so I can quite happily pop myself into that building, or maybe if I want to go a bit deeper and I want to get in and we start having a big battle inside one of the lower levels, I can pick that off as well. Okay, and I can make my way in there, um, and I can have my battle, and there's you know things going on in there, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'll just pop this back um, on top, and uh, and basically what it means is that I can, I really can get the battle working back um, inside and outside um, of, of the building. So. But again, all I've done is I've I've put together the different elements. Okay, so I've got I've got city elements, um, I've got rooftops, I've got things going on, and I've got um, the the shanty elements as well. We, when I did this, I had quite a lot of um, the shanty parts left over, so I built this huge kind of. Um, barricade wall out of the actual um, shanty parts as well which is which is really really cool because you get this huge kind of defenses and then I've started to mess around and take lots of um, different bits and pieces so I've got a couple of these 
um, the uh, the prison cells here, and I use those as a kind of a yeah an internal sort of safety barrier, um, and I've got various other bits and pieces around. Okay, some of the elements that you haven't seen yet from the shanty town haven't really showed you the new crates that you get with the shanty town. So we've got this this one here, which is kind of like a um, a medi crate, okay, a cargo sort of medi crate there. Um, we've got that one, um, and then we've got things like this. Uh, this aluminium one here, okay, so we've got one of those, um, and we've got this like little flight case, okay, and you, and, you, and you probably notice that there's lots of these little scatter elements around. What these are actually are the little bits that get pushed out of the railings just here. So when you first get your set and you put it out, uh, and you push out all the parts, there's a little tiny shanty brick if you like inside each one of those you push that out it makes the rain in. don't throw those parts away because they make really good scatter and in fact we've got them all the way across the uh, the, the, the the wasteland over here as well um, it adds a real um, a real sort of uh, another element 3d element to the um, to, to, to the textures of the mats okay um, okay so so we've got that um, and then we've got the container here just move some of these bits out of the way uh, and we've got some crates inside. And what I really didn't show you is, at the moment we've got this set as the door open. And all I've done is I've slid off. I've slid the bottom of the, um, uh, the side, sorry, of the container off. Okay? So if I pop that back on here, I have to get it a bit closer to me like that and just slide, slide the two parts back on. Um, I've got my container again here. But... We include these little tabs underneath here, which you can just you can just glue on, and it allows you to open the container and actually go inside, um, and you can actually pop in your your crates. Here we go. Okay, and that can then become an objective point. And when it's open, you can slide the front off and have it open, and so on and so forth. So, as always, we try to make these as as useful as we possibly can. Now. Um, also, it doesn't notice on this one, but what we'll do is we'll actually have these as reversible. So that means that um, if, you, um, if you have a couple of these, you can assemble one at this colour, and you can assemble another one at a different colour, okay, um, over here, so that you get variety in your containers as well. So you, again, we're trying as much as we can to kind of break up the pattern. Um, and we don't want as, uh, we want as few as uh, few as possible repeat textures. Um, so yeah, another an, another cool thing that we've been doing. Okay, so that gives you a, a certain idea of that. Um, lastly, I just wanted to um, just talk about some of the other sets that we do. We've obviously got a dungeon set and we've got a sci-fi set. It's really good as far as um, compatibility between the sets. Okay, so uh, for example. If we, if we look at the turbine here, this absolutely does not look out of place okay, um, as part of the city block or the shanty town. Okay? So already you've got something that, that works really, really quite well. Um, and, and, and these kind of conduits as well, these look great sort of, you know, coming off the side of buildings, heating ducts, um, all of that kind of thing. Um, very, uh, uh, they, they look really, really good on the shanty town as well. So you've got, if you've got a few of these, you can make a shanty building and kind of surround them with the uh, with these um, conduits as well. It looks really, really cool. Okay, so um, there's a few things like that. Also, of course, things like your your cargo crates. So again, these are from the sci-fi, and again, these absolutely just look perfect um, as part of um, this terrain as well. So. Compatibility between the sets, um, certainly for the room items and things like that, is really, really good. Okay. Um, other than that, really, we're going to write a, an update for you um, very soon. You may already have seen it by the time that we uh, view this video. Have a look at that. It explains about pledges. If you are if you are a city block at the moment and you want to take a uh, shanty town, it's really simple. You keep your city block. And then all you do is you choose the shanty town add-on. It's very simple, and you just raise your funds to cover that add-on, just like any normal add-on. And vice versa, if you are at a shanty town and you want a city because you want to be able to mix it together like this, um, great, do that. You can keep your shanty town and just pledge for the city block add-on. If you are on an early bird 
and you don't want to lose an early bird and you want to sort of mix and match around and do whatever it is you want to do. You might be uh, times two early bird and want to switch to a shanty town times two uh, or something like that. Then that's no problem as well. Um, just stay where you are on whatever early bird that you're on. Okay. Add any funds that you need to cover all the bits and pieces you want. Then when we send out the pledge manager, you email us. Don't email us yet. Email us when we send out the pledge manager and we'll fix it in back kit to make sure that you get um, the, the bits and pieces you actually absolutely want. Okay, um, so yeah, that's it. This is the kind of the shanty town. This is the, the shanty mix, okay? A city block and a shanty town put together. A lot of city block and bits and pieces and that left over from this. Um, so any more questions? Uh, anything else? See you on the comments. This is possibly the last video before the end of the campaign. So um, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope, you, hope, hope, hope you've enjoyed uh, the big reveal of the shanty town and uh, we will... Uh, uh, I'll see you in the comments. Okay, cheers and happy gaming.